The facelift the 2019 Jeep Cherokee has just debuted at the Detroit Auto Show and as images released in December 1st showed, the design of the updated model is much more appealing than the outgoing crossover. In a move that won't upset anyone, Jeep has ditched the odd front fascia of the current model, including its weird headlights, in favor of a more traditional and appealing design. As such, there's a pair of sleek new headlights, quite similar in shape to those from the Jeep Compass. Viewed from the rear, a host of changes are also apparent. Most notably, there's different tail lights with LED accents, a revised tailgate, and a blacked out bumper. Roof rails complete the new look. Beneath the skin, the 2019 Jeep Cherokee will be sold with three different engines. The entry-level mill takes the form of a 2.4-liter Tiger Shark inline 4 with 180 HP. New to the range is the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder from the all-new Wrangler, delivering a punchy 270 HP and 295 lb-ft of torque. Last but not least is the brand's familiar 271 HP 3.2-liter Pent Asta V6. Beyond having the most torque of the trio, the 2.0-liter turbo also adopts direct injection, stop-start technology, and lightweight materials in the pistons and cams halves to improve fuel economy. EPA figures have yet to be announced. At least three trim levels will be offered, Latitude, Overland, and Trailhawk. The Latitude trim will be the most affordable and should start at roughly $25,000. For those looking to amp things up, both the Overland and Trailhawk variants will cost around $40,000 when optioned with numerous accessories. Visual differences between the three trims are obvious. For example, Overland models receive chrome tow hooks while Trailhawk models are fitted with bright red hooks. Furthermore, the Trailhawk has a new front bumper design that allows for greater approach angles. It also receives skid plates, flared wheel arches, 17-inch wheels with off-road tires, and an increased ride height. Ford has revealed the hotly anticipated Ranger midsize pickup truck at the Detroit Auto Show. Fueled by the growing demand for midsize trucks in the US, Ford developed the new Ranger specifically for North American customers, making it also the first time the Ranger nameplate is offered in these parts of the world since 2011. Based on a steel frame, the new Ford Ranger comes with an independent front and a solid rear axle from Dana on both 2WD and 4WD models, offering as an option an electronic locking rear differential, standard on FX2 and FX4 models, for better off-road traction. Power is provided from the familiar 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine that's upgraded with a forged steel crankshaft and connecting rods, and chain-driven dual overhead cams for added durability. A 10-speed automatic gearbox is the only option and a class-exclusive feature. Ford hasn't released any performance figures yet. Ranger's proven 2.3-liter EcoBoost provides a torque target on PAR with competing V6 engines, but with the efficiency of a four-cylinder, said Hao Tai Tang, Ford Executive Vice President, Product Development and Purchasing. When you pair that with its 10-speed transmission, you've got one of the most versatile, powerful, and efficient powertrains in the segment. If off-road performance is important to you, Ford will offer the new Ranger with the FX4 off-road package which features more capable shocks, all-terrain tires, a frame-mounted heavy-gauge steel front bash plate and skid plates and an innovative terrain management system with four different driving modes. The FX4 pack also introduces Ford's new trail control technology, which is like cruise control but designed for low speeds on rugged terrains. The new Ford Ranger will also offer a long list of driver assist and safety systems, including automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, a reverse sensing system, blind spot information system with trailer coverage, pedestrian detection, and adaptive cruise control.
If you were in the market for a performance crossover from mainstream brands, your choices used to be fairly limited but that's been changing over the past few years as automakers have rolled out models such as the Dodge Durango SRT and Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. The latest to join the fray is the Ford Edge ST which is celebrating its debut at the North American International Auto Show. While the model isn't nearly as powerful as the Durango or Trackhawk, it features a twin-turbo 2.7-liter V6 engine which produces 335 HP, 249 kilowatts, and 380 lbft, 514 nanometers, of torque. It is connected to 8-speed automatic transmission and a standard all-wheel drive system. Those aren't earth-shattering figures but Ford says the Edge ST has the most powerful V6 engine in its class. It's also a healthy increase over the previous Edge Sport which featured the same engine rated at 315 HP, 234 kW, and 350 lbft, 474 nm, of torque. Besides the upgraded engine, the Edge ST has a sport-tuned suspension and a special sport mode which provides a more aggressive throttle response, revised shifting patterns, sharper engine braking, and a more robust exhaust note. On the styling front, the crossover has an aggressive appearance thanks to a sportier front fascia with a mesh grille. The model has also been equipped with new side skirts, a unique dual exhaust system, and 20-inch wheels which can be outfitted with summer-only tires. The interior receives some minor modifications including unique seats with ST badging and additional bolstering. Drivers will also find steering wheel mounted paddle shifters and Ford Performance scuff plates. The performance oriented model is based on the facelift edge which features a revised front fascia with a new grille and standard LED headlights. The model also has a new hood, a revised liftgate, and an updated interior with a redesigned center console as well as a new rotary gear selector. Under the hood, there's an upgraded 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine which now produces 250 HP, 186 kW, and 275 lbft, 372 nm, of torque. The engine is connected to a new 8-speed automatic transmission and it features start-slash-stop technology to improve fuel efficiency. Chevrolet's 2019 Silverado pickup was unveiled just in time to take on the new Gen Ram 1500 and Ford's updated F-150 bestseller. This year's Detroit Auto Show is packed full of iconic nameplates that wouldn't even frown when faced with any sort of rough terrain. From the previously mentioned pickup trucks, all the way to the new G-Wagon, running out of tarmac shouldn't be a problem. Compared to its predecessor, the 2019 Silverado is less conservative and features stronger character lines. For a more rugged look, go for the LT Trail Boss which adds the suspension lift, locking rear diff and skid plates. Unlike the exterior, the cabin of the all-new Silverado isn't too different than it was before, influenced strongly by customer feedback, while packing an extra 3 inches of rear legroom for crew cab models. Power unit choices will include new 5.3-liter and 6.2-liter V8 options, as well as a 3.0-liter Duramax turbo diesel, where the latter could end up to be the best-performing diesel in the segment, according to GM exec, Mark Royce. This could mean that it will feature higher power and torque numbers than Ford's new 3.0-liter power stroke diesel V6, rated at 250 horses and 440 LB Ford. 596 nanometers. Just like Ford's diesel, the Silverados will also be mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. In total, Chevrolet will offer eight different 2019 Silverado versions, plus a wide range of engine and transmission combinations in hopes of helping customers find their ideal pickup.
As promised, the 2019 Acura RDX prototype has premiered at the Detroit Auto Show and as recently leaked images revealed, it is essentially production ready in all but name. On a styling front, Acura hasn't held back in transforming the vehicle's body. As such, the RDX prototype adopts the brand's latest design language and scoffs in the face of the subtle and curvaceous crossovers on the market. It bears resemblances to other models in the Acura family but is much edgier and assured to split opinion. Among the key styling changes are a muscular hood, tapered headlights, and LED daytime running lights, roof-mounted spoiler, and a large circular tailpipe. Step inside and you will find a large infotainment screen jutting out of the dashboard, digital gauges, and an intriguing gear selector panel. Elsewhere, the 2019 RDX prototype includes brushed aluminum and wooden trimmings. Additionally, Acura says the RDX comes equipped with the best seats it has ever produced, complete with 16-way power adjustability and 4-way lumbar support. Things don't start and end on a styling front. Underneath the skin, Honda has made use of an all-new platform and extended the wheelbase by a generous 2.5 inches. Additionally, a 2.0-liter VTEC turbocharged four-cylinder engine that's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission comes as standard. The 2.0-liter has 40 percent or more torque than the outgoing RDX. To ensure the engine and transmission are used to their fullest potential, Honda Super Handling All-Wheel Drive SHAWD, system has also been implemented. Featuring torque vectoring, the all-wheel drive system will provide both impressive on-road handling and a respectable level of off-road capabilities. The all-wheel drive system has four distinct drive modes, Sport, Sport Plus, Comfort, and Snow. Other standout features include a 16-channel, 710-watt Acura L Studio 3D system that includes four ceiling-mounted speakers. The car also has a range of connected car and driver assistive features including hill start assist, surround view camera system, front and rear parking sensors, rear cross traffic monitor and blind spot information system. The all-new RDX delivers a powerful statement about who we are and where we are headed as a brand said Vice President and General Manager of Acura John Ikeda. For our customers, the new RDX is a quantum leap forward in design, style, and performance, with luxury features and technology that will elevate their ownership experience. Acura has also announced that the new RDX will be its first SUV offered at launch in a spec trim, a new range that adds sporty styling inside and out and will be offered on all core Acura models.